Get ready for an extraordinary experience as you tune into this inspiring sermon by Apostle Joshua Selman. The words you are about to hear carry the power to renew your spirit and ignite a fire of faith within you, guiding you to a new level of divine breakthrough. Take your hands to Jesus. Give Him all the praise. 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 Someone bless in His name. Father, we bless you. We raise your banner high. We'll shine your light so bright. We'll sing in honor of you. We will raise your banner high. We'll shine your light so bright. We'll sing in honor of you. Bless his name for tonight, the doer of wonderful things. God in the midst of his people is mighty. Someone blessing him. Blessings and honor, glory and power be ascribed to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Now ask him for an encounter tonight. Father, let tonight be my night. You have come, visit me. Give me an encounter by your spirit. Let tonight's meeting culminate to my laughter, my joy, my restoration, my healing. The Bible says, Hitherto you have asked for nothing. It says, Ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. Someone is praying. I come with my heart full of faith, full of expectation. Chosen by the Spirit of God, chosen by the Spirit of grace, chosen. He told Jeremiah, do not say I am a child, but everywhere I shall send you to, you shall go. And to whoever I shall instruct you, you will say that which I have asked you to say. I'm declaring by the Spirit, that mantle is still looking for people. You are chosen, you are chosen, chosen by the Spirit of God. Out of your family members, out of different people, you may not look like it, but the grace is still on you. The Bible says, You are a chosen generation. It calls you a royal priesthood. It says you are a holy nation, a peculiar people, mandated to show forth the praises, the word doxazo, of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Into his marvelous light. I'm seeing the number four, and I'm hearing is an impartation for the prophetic, the eyes of the seer, four, just four people. I'm seeing that mantle is coming on you right now. The eyes, help them please, my God. The eyes of the seer. I activate that prophetic. May that mantle rest upon you. The eyes of the seer, authentic manifestation of the prophetic. I set you on fire. I ignite your sight in the spirit. The number four, the prophetic. Probably someone came here to receive that grace. You came here crying for that manifestation. You need it for your life and ministry. I declare over you, may that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Please don't be distracted. 
God is moving in the midst of his people. Alega de Beretos Catebrega de Balacotas, Chakra Catebrega Toskiata Balacosiata, Embra Catebrega Toskiata, Shaka de Brete Cabereco Toscata Balacatosiata, the prophetic, the prophetic, men and women together, men and women together. Some of you, this thing came, is, is even in your lineage, your physical lineage, but you are yet to carry that mantle. I release that grace, I release that grace. It comes upon you. You right now. Ala shabarega de beleko sabrega de beleko siata. Enkre beleko shala ke brande ke beretu siata. Kraka bakota skote belendu satiashe. Hallelujah. I'm hearing someone with the name favor the Lord is saying it's time for your name to start speaking in your life I don't know who that person is your name is favor I'm declaring who is favor in the name of Jesus every shame and every reproach and everything that is not of God I'm hearing the name favor and the Lord is saying it's time for your name to start speaking in your life I prophesy over you in the name of Jesus Christ please make sure that this prophecy is for you don't just come out carelessly I stretch my hands right now the anointing that releases the grace upon your name receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now let favor follow you in the morning favor in the afternoon favor in the night favor I release that grace upon you in the name of Jesus Christ I'm hearing a prophetic word and God is speaking to someone I would not say things like that except God to told me your destiny is in the United Kingdom I don't know who that person is but this is what God is saying your destiny is in the United Kingdom <laughs> Your destiny is in the United Kingdom. Just help them. It may not be easy, but please just manage them. Your destiny is in the United Kingdom. I, I don't know who that person is, but I'm speaking by the prophetic. How you will get there, you may not know. But I call upon the God of Jeshurun. Since he has spoken, I place grace upon your life. And I move you by prophecy. Locate destiny. Locate destiny. Locate destiny right now. Listen, listen. I use this prophetic word as a point of contact. Anyone who is currently in a place that is not your assigned place of destiny, I relocate you to your place of destiny. I relocate you to your place of destiny. I'm saying it again. There may be a man of God. The reason why you are not succeeding is you are not in the place assigned. I relocate you to your place assigned. There is a location for every mantle. And Isaac sowed in that land. Not any land. That land. There are lands when you sow into you go down. He said, Abraham, come out of your father's house and out of your kindred to a land that I will show you. And in the obedience of your advancement, I will make you a great nation. I will make your name great. There are many people, the reason why you are grounded is because you are not discerning. And hear me, there are many people abroad whose destinies are not abroad. They are suffering and wasting time. Greener pasture is not in a physical location. Greener pasture is in the voice of God. Anybody wrongly located across the globe, I take you back to your place of destiny. Can we release the grace for speed?
for speed most of you listen you must understand now here i want you to help the ushers there are thousands of people and there's only so much the ushers can do all right so um especially if you are a worker in this ministry once it's time please help the ushers there's only so much they can do i promise that i was going to work with time do you know why i release the grace for speed because i have discovered listen to me there are two systems of advantage as far as dominion over time is concerned. Number one is restoration. Number two is speed. These are the twin forces that help men to catch up in destiny. For some of you, many things have left you behind. But I want to release that grace. And when I, please, I want you to help them because people will start running. And so I want you to help them. I stretch my hands. By the mantle of the apostolic and the prophetic, I decree and declare, for every destiny that has been grounded, I introduce to your life right now, the grace for speed, release, receive it right now, speed, 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 receive that grace, speed, speed, I command it, I declare it, I decree it, over your life, man of God, speed, businessman, speed, Elijah, receive speed in the name of Jesus Christ. Now I want to rebuke spirits for as long as I live. No demonic spirit around my vicinity and over my people will survive. I, I already sense fire. Matesh Ali Kapa. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And every spirit that has oppressed your life is about to jump out of your life. Are you ready now? I decree and declare that at the count of three, every spirit, witchcraft, every manipulation connected to bloodline, you must let God's people go now. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Leave your destinies now. Leave your destiny. Apaka toske pebata. Krepe ketoske pe toskata. Praka toske tebeleka. Out of their lives now. Out of their destinies now. Please bring them out very quickly. Bring them out very quickly. I decree and declare every foul spirit, every unclean spirit, it's time for you to leave. Let God's people go now. Bring them out very quickly. Wicked spirits that will not allow destinies to go and pray again. Every spirit tying down anyone here, any man, any woman, I'm saying it again at the count of three. Let the fire fall. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Let the fire fall. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hello, Madonna. I will, I will say it again when it's time to prophesy. But I just had the opening of a key and I saw a door open. And I want to declare it. I don't know who that is for, but there is a strong grace that is coming upon you as I speak now. And you will be surprised to see doors open. Lord, as Apareke to Sekete Bash, Makebrake, help that lady. Doors be open now. Doors. Be open now. Doors be open now. Doors be open now. I have set before you an open door. 
and no one can shut it i say it again it may not be for everybody but for someone who have prayed you have fasted in the name of jesus christ my god and your god i say it again doors be open now Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors of ministry. Marital doors. Fruitfulness doors. Financial doors. A father be open. Hallelujah. Who is Sylvester? I'm hearing a name Sylvester. Who is that? Your name is Sylvester. What do you do, my friend? I want to pray for you. How long have you been in a medical practice? This will be my tenth year. Your tenth year. Are you planning to go abroad? I have been up in trial. Your season has come. Your destiny. Listen to me. I will not call you out and tell you nonsense, my friend. I fear God, huh? But I'm telling you that there is a very supernatural manifestation of God's grace. Listen, in your practice, there is a height that God is going to take you to that will surprise you. It's Sylvester. There is someone, the power of God is coming on you. You are a lawyer. I'm seeing, because I'm seeing in a vision and I'm seeing that person wearing the, the uh, wig for lawyers. And I'm seeing the power of God rest upon you. And the Lord is saying his opening is a new season. I don't know where that person is, but right now, you are a lawyer. The power of God is resting upon you. Allah, sade neke sodabra askadiya takosiba. It's a new season. Do not look down on yourself. That profession is your ministry. And the hand of God is there. Sylvester, I want to pray for you, all of you who are out. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Seven years, exactly. Please listen to the word before you come out. We have to hurry up. Seven years, you have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Seven. I know there are many people, but this is seven a woman seven years is there someone like that let me pray for you right now because i'm saying there is grace to declare over you <laughs> sylvester i stretch my hands all of you in the name of jesus christ who is the helper of men i decree and declare by the spirit of the living god the prophetic word that god has declared upon you in the name of jesus christ may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you seven years in the name of jesus christ my dear you see god's word is not a suggestion when god's word comes it truly comes to bring liberty father in the name of jesus we thank you please make sure it's that specific word i prophesy by the power of the holy spirit and I declare like Elisha said to the Shunammite woman, according to the time of life. It doesn't matter how it has been before now. Now that your word has come, in the name of Jesus Christ, the spirit that is responsible for barrenness, the spirit that is responsible for loss of children, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Are you standing for yourself, my dear? No, 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 no. This lady... You are standing for yourself. Yes, sir. Where is your husband? He's not here. Where is he? He's at home. Where is home? Look beside. Let the mercy of God speak over your marriage. Amen. Say amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And every legal access the devil has over your home, I declare it broken now. Amen. Madam, this woman lifting her hands. Shout Jesus. Jesus! It's over completely in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I stretch my hands over these precious women 
and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit whatever has been responsible for this barrenness loss of children we don't care what it is we correct it right now in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands and I release grace upon you that according to the time of life return with your miracles in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen God bless you in Jesus name place your hand let me pray for the sick now I just said place your hand and I just saw a thermometer go down every time I see that that is high blood pressure that's BP there's someone you have suffered this demonic thing the power of God is coming on that person right now I'm seeing that the person is in this row you are somewhere al along this row I don't know who that person is the Holy Spirit is ministering to me that the person is somewhere along that road the power of God is coming on that person I assure you these visions don't lie the power of God is touching someone I saw a thermometer go down in the name of Jesus Christ please place your hand where you are trusting God for a miracle I want to pray for the sick now if it's your head go ahead if it's a blood condition just lay your hands on your chest if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact please believe in the healing ministry believe in the healing ministry there's no reason to sit down and die for nothing believe in the healing ministry lay your hands just keep it there you sent your word and it healed my disease you are the lord my healer That he led me, that he led me, on the Lord, my healer, he sent your word, you sent your word, and he healed my disease. someone you are already having signs signs of rheumatoid arthritis i have to pray for you half of you you are already having a very serious i'm not a medical doctor i'm just describing what god is showing me a a tingly feeling you know like like shock something your your body is getting numb i want you to connect by faith and those who are it's incredible how many people connect to our miracle services from several hospitals and the testimonies that have come is very humbling and here is a chance again we thank god for doctors they are a symbol of god's mercy but in addition to that which they do we are connecting by faith to release the healing power of jesus i truly believe that jesus heals lay your hands what money cannot do what doctors may not even be able to do jesus the healer is about to touch you right now keep your hands there i want to minister the power of god the power of god is just flowing right now and touching people there are two people who are going to shout very loud the moment that happens the healing power of god will begin to flow honestly i do not know why but this is what god is ministering to me very loud shout two of them the moment that happens the healing power of jesus will begin to flow the redeemed worship you now holy 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 are you lord the saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now holy 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 are you lord in the name of jesus i take authority over every devil every unclean spirit that is responsible for sicknesses and infirmity 
by the power that raised Christ from the dead and by the blood of the eternal covenant I declare right now be healed in Jesus name mm, miracles are happening be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name frequent urination I don't know the name of the medical condition but frequent urination sometimes if you are not cheerful and you don't hurry up you is almost as if you are going to ease yourself on yourself I declare right now that demonic case let it come to an end now <laughs> I've seen this a number of times and I've announced it a woman who is not nursing she's not a nursing mother and yet she's lactating I don't know if that is good or bad but I think it's bad in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that demonic occurrence dies permanently from your body I'm still praying omnipotent father of mercy and grace thou art welcome in this place Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, thou art welcome in this place. I conditions in the name of Jesus, every kind of eye condition here represented by the power of the Holy Spirit be healed now. Amen. Ear conditions, I command healing by the Spirit of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There's someone you have a problem with your kidneys. I don't know if you are aware or not, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare healing right now. Amen. There's someone I'm seeing that you are watching from South Africa. You are suffering from kidney stones. This is what the Holy Spirit is ministering to me. From South Africa, kidney stones. In the name of Jesus, be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. The Lord is showing me a lady who is connecting from Canada. This is Ontario. In the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. I decree and declare this heart palpitation, heart palpitation, be healed right now. Be healed right now. There is a mother I'm seeing, maybe at least, maybe her, it should not be less than her 60s. She's watching from Bauchi State, from Bauchi State, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Mama, be healed now. I'm also seeing a woman who is connecting. You are watching by your daughter's phone. This is what I'm seeing. You are using your daughter's phone to watch. You have been having dreams and seeing dead people, people who have died, calling you. In the name of Jesus, we extend your life to be consistent with God's program. We extend your life. And my declaration for that woman is what I'm declaring over you. No untimely death for you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus the someone is a blood related case i don't know if it's hiv or something in the name of jesus the son of the living god hiv god is healing you now god is healing you now god is healing you now as someone suffering from peptic ulcer peptic ulcer in the name of jesus christ i declare be healed now Amen. there's something they call mums where the side of your your um your mouth your cheek area begins to swell now there's someone you don't have that case but this is what is happening it's not mums but you are having that discomfort is like it's you know it's swelling i don't know whether you are here or any of the overflows in the name of jesus the power of god is touching that person right now right now right now right now 
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus right now the power of God is touching that person right now there's what we call dementia where you begin to forget I'm seeing someone's father suffering that the power of God is coming upon you right now for the sake of your father he's beginning to forget names and forget people and forget places he will have to be reminded I'm seeing pictures in front of him they have to try to remind him of several things in the name of Jesus dementia you go now you go now Wow, the Lord is showing me a very interesting situation. I'm seeing a surgery room. Now, it may not be, it may be something in a vision. I'm seeing a surgery room currently as I'm speaking, and they are operating someone. And with what I'm seeing in my vision, that person will not wake up again. This is what I'm seeing. And the Lord is saying we should change that situation. I don't know who the person is, but I'm seeing them open up someone and while the work is ongoing i'm seeing complication that is developed and once they are done with the surgery they may say the person bled and could not survive it but because it has been revealed we knock upon the door of life and we command preservation i don't know who is going through surgery right now every complication being scheduled by satan in the name of jesus we overturn by the power of the holy spirit in the name of Jesus Christ now whether I mention your case or not by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of Jesus be healed now 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 We're about to submit our prayer request very quickly. We may not have the time to collect testimonies because I promise that we're going to finish on time. But listen very carefully. There is just one person. I know that there are many people, but there's one person here. You have been praying desperately and desiring the healing anointing to really come upon your life. It's been your prayer unto God. I know that there might be several people what God says to one he says to all but God is showing me what I'm not talking of casual passive blind desire genuine is been pressing upon your heart you have cried and you have desired the healing anointing the Lord is saying it is yours right now I don't know who that person is but the power of God is coming upon you you will truly carry the healing anointing truly carry the healing anointing You will truly carry the healing anointing. Just give me a minute and let God do what he's doing. That's, I've just been asked not to say anything, just to keep quiet and allow God do what He's doing. Mighty God.
just one minute god is doing an impartation very strong impartation strong impartation of graces strong impartation strong impartation See, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. When you walk with God, one of the things you must master is the ability to be sensitive in the spirit. Sensitivity in the spirit is gold. You must know how to respond to the impulses of the spirit. Being anointed is not enough. The administration of the anointing is sensitivity dependent you would lose out on many prophetic things that god intends to do simply because you do not have the eyes that see and the ears that hear just 10 or 20 more seconds and then we'll be ready to pray God is not done. This thing is the healing anointing. Oh. I'm talking of the healing anointing. This is what is coming so that there's no, it's not just a random impartation. Only a Shiva will reign forever to his kingdom. There'll be no end. Only a shoe will reign forever. To your kingdom, there'll be no end. Allah Sanika Parosia Tabaratus. To his kingdom, there'll be no end. Hear what the Lord is saying, I should tell someone. I will help you. I'm hearing help. The Lord is saying you have labored, you have tried by yourself and by your own strength. I am coming into your life to help you. This is what God is saying. This may not be for everybody, but he is called the helper. God is saying you have tried and tried. I don't know in what area you have tried. You have exhausted your options. In fact, you came into Koinonia. You came for service tonight. You're not just confused. You've exhausted everything. But in the name of Jesus, the helper is visiting you. Ebenezer, the helper of man. In the name of Jesus, the helper is holding your hands. The helper is holding your destiny. You are about to experience help from the helper. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Now very quickly, I want everybody open your mouth and begin to pray if you can. While you submit your prayer request. Please no distraction. This is a very prophetic atmosphere. Now. Just submit your request to the last person by your left or right very quickly for the sake of time. Don't worry, no one is reading your request. Just quickly submit so that you make the work easy for ushers. Ushers, let's get this done very quickly. While that is happening, we are praying in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. You are receiving through prayer. The Bible says, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest it in that place of prayer and thou shalt have it. Submit your prayer request. Salako Sativeretu Sape and the Koshara Kosia What's the first stanza of this song again? There are kings, there are kingdoms, there are mountains and there are I want to pray 
for you right now. I'm hearing the sound of chains. I'm not seeing it, but I'm hearing the sound of chains. And I have the ministration in my spirit that these chains represent yokes of delay. Tying people down and will not let you go forward. I pray for you right now. Let that fire fall upon every individual and every family. My God, every chain that has kept you in the same position. Right now in the name of Jesus and at the count of three. Let that chain be broken. One, two, three. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Let that chain be broken. 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 In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, all kinds of chains, anti destiny spells, be broken now. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to pray. You have had a strange occurrence where demon spirits come to sleep with you in the night. They use the faces of individuals, male or female, it does not matter. When good things are about to happen, listen to me, then you go to bed in the night and that molestation happens. By the next day, the opportunity is just aborted. I pray for you now. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit, anyone under the sound of my voice, and you are a victim of this demonic molestation at the count of three, be released right now. One, two, three. Be released right now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are still praying mysterious dreams seeing yourself writing exams without passing seeing yourself in secondary schools homes and places that you left years ago i tell you they have prophetic implications by the god of heaven everything that connects you with yesterday the course of yesterday the tragedy by god fire is falling i decree right now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. We will sing hallelujah until you come again. We will sing hallelujah until you come Deborah, who is Deborah? I'm hearing a name in my spirit. Deborah, your time has come. You don't have to crowd, don't worry, you just stand where you are. Deborah, this is what I'm hearing. The Lord is visiting a Deborah. Captivity is coming to an end. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands by the prophetic and the apostolic over Deborah. The plague of witchcraft be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Over Deborah. Be broken now. Be broken now. I set every altar speaking against Deborah on fire. On fire. On fire. On fire. On fire. Let that altar catch fire now. Yes, the world will bow down and say you are God. Every man will bow down and say you are King. Yes, the world will bow down and say you are God. Every man. Hold on. I'm hearing in my spirit, rebuke the cost that is upon firstborns. Rebuke the cost that is upon my God. Fire is going to fall here now. If you are a firstborn, every cost, Baratos Kayata, not allowing you to move forward, making your younger ones to go ahead of you by the apostolic and the prophetic, be delivered now. 
be delivered now. Bring them out. Every cause of the firstborn, first male, first female, first child, tying your destiny down, I will not let you move forward. This is koinonia. Be delivered now. Bring them out. Bring them out. My God. Yes, the world ah. will bow down and say you are God. Keep praying, don't be silent. Every man will bow down and say you are King. The cause of the firstborn be released. So let's start right now. Why would we wait? King of glory, feel this place. Just wanna be with you. Just wanna be with you. Sing, King of glory. Hallelujah. Do you know what God showed me that I started praying? God flashed the image of people and the various idols afflicting them. I just saw it upon their heads. I pray for you. Anything your forefathers worshipped that is afflicting you now, especially if you were supposed to take over the priesthood, fire is coming upon you right now. Anyone who is a victim of the consequences of idolatry, shout Jesus right now. Shout Jesus right now. Shout Jesus right now. Shout Jesus us right now every idol every altar every enchantment you come under fire now you come under arrest now the cause of idolatry i'm still praying the cause of idolatry you may not have known they worship idols. They kill children to service those altars. And before those who died, died, they uttered curses and said it would not be well with your children. I come by the prophetic. Anyone here who is a victim of the ill speakings of man, consequences of idolatry, right now, be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered by mercy. Be delivered by grace. Be delivered by mercy. There is a gentleman here. Please listen. If it's not for you, don't waste our time. Just sit back. But there is a gentleman here. You are supposed to be the direct person continuing the idolatry where you come from. And you have rejected it. And this thing, you keep seeing these things in your dreams. Where is that person? I want that person to come. I presume there might be a number of them. Directly, you know, not assumption. You are supposed to be the one to take over the helm of affairs. As far as priesthood is concerned. Please, if that gentleman is around, whether inside or outside, I want him to come out. I want to pray for you. There is a family that I'm seeing here. I may not ask you to come out for space, but you are from Benway State. There is a mysterious altar God wants to pull down now. This thing has affected everybody in that family. Benway State. This is what God is ministering to me. Father, by the Spirit of God, you didn't come alone, no. It was a family. Nobody progresses in that family. No matter what happens. Educated but suffering as if you are uneducated. It's a yoke of darkness. That course is about to break now. Do you have that gentleman? You are supposed to continue. Did you verify it? Where are you from, sir? Huh? Iju Akure. You are from? Iju Akure. Where is that? Ondo State. Ondo State, Akure. You were supposed to carry on with the priesthood. My father was, he rejected Just a it. moment, let me hear. Yes, go my, ahead. My father was, he rejected it. And of Your father rejected it. So, so to miracle, and then he came to you. But I didn't take it either. You rejected it too. And it seems to have backfired. 
you will be delivered now, sir. Amen. How about this gentleman? Please, very quickly. I was told that I was supposed to carry on the family lineage. You are an international guest? Yes, yes, Coming sir. from? From Belgium, sir. Okay, what happened? Uh, I was told I was supposed to carry on in the family lineage. My father originally comes from Ijebode, and I was supposed to carry He comes on. from Ijebode? Yes, sir. I see. Yes, sir. And I was supposed to carry on that family tradition. You see, Ba, this thing will follow you to America, for wherever it doesn't... A plane does not take away demons. No. That you enter the plane to a foreign land if you don't settle this by light and by power that thing will follow you to the ends of the earth there are many people with all due respect in america have you seen people who spend decades abroad and return back like they just came out of prison don't feel embarrassed my dear friend i'm going to pray for you who else why are you lifting your hands? From where? From where? Oh, my Benway people. Hold on, hold on. Be organized now. Remember I gave you a... Just calm down. You are here for a miracle service. Are you a family? No, you are not a family. Let me hear that woman who is crying. Give her the mic. Madam, no crying, straight to the point. Just, okay, go ahead. I'm seeing her with children. Give her the mic. It's two, two years. I bury my Sydney every two, two years. See, even this one has challenges. This my son, every two, two every years. Every two, two years, you bury every your Sydney. Every two, two years. Well, Don't worry, I'm, I'm, coming, I'm praying years. against patterns. There are people who have those patterns, so every predefined time something must happen either someone dies or someone goes down or women return back to their parents homes or men return back anything that is a pattern let me even pray it already in the name that is above all names i say it by the spirit of god receive it all every parasco parita barantasiata every pattern repetitive negative cycles hear me in the name of jesus i call upon the god of my covenant that if there be anything that is a pattern around your life let that pattern be broken now be broken now be broken now be broken now as you shout amen let it be broken now Yahweh Sabah Yahweh Sabah Yahweh Sabah Yahweh Ta-da-da-da-da-da-da Hold on. Do you know? These patterns, I've seen it all. I've seen intelligent people. Your grandfather begged with PhD. The son begged with PhD. There are children, they can school anywhere, but the only way they live is by begging. And they are not lazy. And then if somebody emerges and is the one to wipe the tears of the family, even an ordinary bike could kill that person. Any programming against your family, in the name of Jesus Christ, I call upon the God of heaven. Let, let the God of vengeance visit your foundation now. Let the God of vengeance, help this woman. Let the God of vengeance visit your foundation now. Let the God of vengeance visit your foundation now. Whatever you tolerate will keep growing in your life. Did you hear what I said? Hallelujah. There are people who never eat from their children. Please listen. I'm speaking to you prophetically now. They give birth to children. But even at 45, 30, 35, 55... Even at all those ages, listen to me, the children will have to eat from the parents. Have you seen people like that? Yes. Parents are retired, but from their gratuity, 
That's what they will carry to feed the man who has his wife and has the children. When I'm praying for patterns, if it does not concern you, no problem. You can keep your hands when I'm praying about what concerns you. But please, don't lose out this opportunity. For some of you, God has been showing you mercy. Again, I'm praying. Everything that is not written in this scripture, that is happening in your life and stopping your life from being an expression of God's grace. In the name of Jesus, we bury it this night. We bury it this night. We bury it this night. For sake of time, we can't have everybody come, but the families from Benway State, just lift your hands. I don't care what the altar is called, and I don't care how long it has stayed. My God, fire will fall on you. As I'm praying for you now, physically, may something be happening in your village as I pray. And anyone, I remember, I think it was, was it that we're still in Zaria? Listen. Was it that we're still in Zaria or we had moved to Abuja? One miracle service I was praying, I remember. And I, I think God brought a word of knowledge, particularly concerning Benway. Now I have no prejudice for any state. Mine is to minister as the Spirit of God leads. But I remember seeing a tree and something tied on that tree. One miracle service. And I had a name called Aleku. Aleku, something. Aleku or Aleku. Something like that. And that is a vicious altar, some kind of spirit that can make people's legs to swell till they die or make something happen to people. I pray for you, whether that concerns you or not, in the name of Jesus. I'm using Benway as a point of contact for every other place. If there is any altar tagging you and not allowing you move, I'm coming to pray for business people shortly. But right now, I break those covenants. Listen, listen to me. I want you to trust what God is doing here. You will be surprised at what happens to you. Please don't feel bad, but God is giving me this word for a particular woman. About a month ago, your daughter died. I don't know if she's been buried or not, but God is saying I should pray for that one person. Your daughter, not your child. Your daughter died. You are the mother. You came here. I don't know whether you are old or young, but your daughter died. This was over a span of a month ago. If that person is here or outside, please let me have the person out. I will pray for you. But whilst we are waiting for that person, I want to minister Imo State. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. And I'm seeing Imo State. Imo State. The spirit that makes only one person to rise, then the rest beg from that one person. This is what the Lord is telling me. Did you hear what I said? Only one person rises and the other people, they only live by begging that one person. It is not the way God helps believers. God's desire, yes, somebody can start, but eventually that people have their own standing too. Therefore, every spirit responsible for that satanic effect in emo state right now be buried permanently. Be buried permanently. Be buried permanently. Be buried permanently. Hallelujah. I want to pray for someone. Your uncle is a policeman. Your uncle, not your father, not your brother. Your uncle is a policeman. I want to pray because I'm seeing them go uh, an operation over terrorists and I'm not seeing the person return. And the Lord is saying I should pray. Don't be afraid. When God reveals, is to redeem. Your uncle is a policeman. Who is that person? Where is he? Huh? Hold on. Just who, who is that person first? You are an international guest. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from U.S. He's in Texas. Okay. Your uncle is a policeman. Yes, not sir. your brother. No, my brother. What my of, uncle. What of this one? Why are you here, my, my dear? Huh? My uncle is a policeman. Where? The, the Kaduna, sir. Kaduna. Yes, sir. The lady? 
Kefi. Hold on, hold on. Yes, this lady. Kefi. Uh-uh. Kefi. Kefi. Yes, sir. Who? That one? My uncle. Where? Here, in Abuja. In Abuja? Yes, sir. Whose uncle is a policeman in the South South? South South. South South. South South. Where? In Benin. Benin. Where? Huh? Plateau is not South South. Plateau is Middle Belt. Where? Huh? Come again. Onicha. Where? Port Harcourt. Yes. Benin. Onicha. Uh, this death I'm seeing is happening in the South South. They are going to go and raid something and I'm seeing them part of those that were, are gruesomely killed. Don't feel bad. This now I'm not a prophet of doom. Cross River. He's already dead. No problem. We feel sad. May so rest in peace. I'm talking of the one that is alive right now. Don't be afraid. I want to pray for you, madam, and all of you. South, south. I will pray for everyone, but I'm seeing this south, south. It's an operation that they went for. Maybe to, you know, their normal duty as police people, but I'm not seeing him return. And the way that they kill that man is a bad way. It's not like maybe it's just a gunshot. It's like these guys, I'm seeing a, a very cruel death. But I pray for you. You came here tonight. He says, as for me and my house, in the name of Jesus, everyone here, and I'm praying for police officers across this nation, in the name of Jesus, you will go for your operations and return back. You will go for your operations and return back. In the name of Jesus, every programming of death, using the official duties of your loved ones that they will go for operations and yet not return whether it's your father your uncle your loved one in the name of jesus i send a prophetic word ahead of them let it protect them till they return in the name of jesus now i pray for you and you sir by the power of the holy spirit every altar that will not let you rest do you know listen to me even salvation you have a right to reject it Talk less altars. Are we together? As, as, a, as a human being, you can choose to say, Jesus, I've heard your message, but I reject you. And God will respect your choice. He will prevail upon you. He will encourage people to push you to the cross. But he will not force you. No altar has a right to force anyone to say you must carry it. It's a lie. It's against the way the realm of the spirit works. Even God, Jesus Christ said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. The door of the heart of his creation. No herbalist and no demonic thing should come and say, If you don't carry the priesthood, you will fail. I'm telling you now, from the authority of scripture, it's a lie. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, my friend, and all of you who have been victims of this thing. For no matter how long this has been and the negative consequences that have followed you, I stretch my hands towards you. Be set free this moment. Be set free this moment. All the visions and the dreams you have of oppressions, they come to an end now. The Lord is healing people of blood diseases. Blood diseases. This is what I'm hearing. Blood diseases. All of you in front here, I decree and declare. Your liberty is confirmed. Amen. Your liberty is established. Amen. There is a lady you came here with the issue of blood. Just like our sister who was sharing a testimony here. In fact, it was as if she was describing you. As I'm speaking right now, the power of the Holy Ghost is coming upon you. Amen. That demonic oppressive flow of blood. Sometimes you feel dizzy because of how much blood you have lost. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. In the name that is above all names. May the Lord bring you healing permanently. Amen. Healing permanently. Amen. Lay your hands on your body right now. You are trusting God for a miracle. A healing miracle. Go ahead. Place your hand and I want you to believe. Place your hand and I want you to believe. Koinonia is a place of healing. Place your hand and I want you to believe. 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 Jesus still heals. My God. Jesus still delivers. Now here's what will happen. As I speak, some of you, whilst you came here, the healing power of, the, of God had rested upon you. As I pray for you right now, 
I want you remember the instruction I gave you while I was teaching I want you to check yourself and don't sit back when you see that the anointing of the spirit has touched you whether you are outside whether you are inside some of you came on wheelchairs some of you came holding crutches some of you hearing aids some of you came with various parts of your body unable to move mobility issues some of you came you look healthy but there are all kinds of growths and satanic manifestations in your body some of you organ failures some of you various parts of your body your eyes your ears some of you need creative miracles because as it stands you have damaged organs in your body and what a joy to know that our miracle services are being aired across hospitals clinics wards it is such an honor to be able to bring the power of jesus to hospitals and by the way let me take a moment to thank the cmds or the various heads of the units or the hospitals who air our miracle services it's an honor for us to be able to bring the healing power of jesus to as many who we may never see and may never know place your hand um i'm going to pray for you now but there are two people one two who will shout under the anointing the moment they shout under the anointing loud to the hearing of everybody the healing power of jesus begins to flow sometimes like i've told you i don't know why god does these things the way he does but i believe that he does that probably to build the faith of the people and then to let you know that the god who can program something this accurate how do you make mention of two people and say people are going to shout under the anointing you see how in the world do you explain that so i want to pray for you now you lay your hands and play something pray the strings for me and then we begin to pray i want you to believe you don't have to go back with that sickness you're on crutches you cannot walk get ready now as i pray for you don't be afraid lift it up and then you begin to walk you have an earring aid you remove it and test yourself you came with someone i want you to believe as you receive thank you jesus father thank you i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god every devil every demonic spirit that is back of any infirmity blood related bone related organ failure related mobility problem related it doesn't matter what form or fashion every contribution of any unclean spirit to your current health condition your current health status in the name of jesus we dislodge that influence from your body now we stay the power of that spirit from your body now shout a believing amen I decree right now he commanded us to heal the sick and I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus the one who died and rose again be healed now my God I just sense fire literally leaving my hands be healed now be healed now high blood pressure be healed now HIV be healed now bone problems be healed now you could not walk lift your crutches and begin to walk now bone problems be healed now ear problems be healed now liver problems be healed now lumps growths and every kind of protrusions around your body i command it to die now there's someone you have a swelling somewhere inside your mouth i don't know where that is but in the name of jesus the lord is healing you now supernaturally the lord is telling me that there's someone you have a growth around your private area this thing you've tried to treat it and treat it and treat it it's been excruciating pain and embarrassment but i stretch my hands the lord is healing you now you were using a cotton board like an ear board and it moved inside from that time you've had pain and discomfort in your ear your right ear the power of god is touching you now in the name of jesus 
the left side of your nostril has a problem there is a very discomforting feeling you've had this for years it's lingered for years the left side of your nostril the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ there is a lady here you are not pregnant but you've been having the symptoms of a pregnant woman your stomach has not protruded but when you read about the things that happen to a pregnant woman especially ac across the first trimester these are the things happening to you it's a demonic thing i'm praying for you now be delivered from that negative experience your right eye you're not able to see very well with it there's a burning sensation be healed now there's someone I don't know if he's pile, but you cannot sit down comfortably on a chair for a long time. You begin to feel severe pain and discomfort. The power of God is touching you now. There's someone you were told in the hospital, I don't know what organ, maybe your heart or so, that it is surrounded by fats and you will need maybe some medical attention else is going to hurt you. I pray for that person right now. In Jesus' name, let mercy find you. Let mercy find you. I once prayed for this case and the Lord is showing me again. You have a severe case of snoring. Whether you lie down or sit down, the moment you are asleep, you snore so loud that people around you hear. It's been very embarrassing. It has nothing to do with being good or bad. It's, it's something that... If there is a medical name I believe for it but God wants to heal that person in the name of Jesus whatever it is that is around your respiratory system responsible for that discomfort and that anomaly be healed from it now be healed from it now the Lord is asking me to speak over a woman you are married you've never been able to get pregnant it's not that you lost the pregnancy it has never happened never you've not been able to get pregnant in the name of jesus wherever you are inside or any of the overflows outside or connected online by reason of this prayer let the power of the holy spirit rest upon you now rest upon you now rest upon you now rest upon you now, upon you now. there's someone i need to pray for you you are losing your teeth You've lost a number of them, a significant number of them. And if I don't pray for you, you are told in the hospital that you have a condition that is literally spreading and you, you stand a chance of losing your entire teeth. In Jesus' name, wherever you are, following or here on site, be healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. If you came with a picture or point of contact for any sick person, lift it up and pray now. In the name that is above all names, for your loved ones represented, the photos, the materials, the medical reports that are lifted, your phones, I see their pictures. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring the healing power of Jesus to such persons. Shout a believing amen. Shout a believing amen again. The Lord is showing me someone when you go to bed you have a choking feeling it's as if there is a spirit that literally comes to choke your neck you have to struggle to wake up a similar thing happened to me for a, a great part of my life so i understand exactly spirits used to come and oppress me even when i started ministry i used to have that at the infancy of ministry you see that i mean you, you are sleeping and you know you are hearing people conversations but to wake up it looks like you are struggling i'm praying for someone now anyone who has had or is having that experience i set you free by the power of the holy spirit i set you free by the power of the holy spirit the lord is healing someone from stammering 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 be healed now there's a gentleman you are not able to bend over backwards you are a young man but it looks based on what is happening in your body it's almost as if you're in your 60s you are unable to freely bend over backwards and bend downwards in jesus name the power of god is touching you now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus the son of the living god receive your healing now outside receive your healing all the overflows receive your healing 
online receive your healing across the airwaves receive your healing in the main auditorium here receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ now everybody while you are standing I want you to begin to pray and declare that what you have received is finding expression in your life hold on and then for all those I want you to check yourself you find out that there's a miracle that has happened to you leave your seat in a hurry and come and stand here very quickly we're going to have a few people so please if you come late you might not have a chance to testify very quickly check yourself you see that there's a miracle do what you could not do if you came with someone help them release their faith as soon as a miracle happens please make your way very quickly to the front we'll take a few testimonies and then we'll be praying over the request but go ahead and pray everyone decree and declare that this that I have received these that I have received let's celebrate miracles while we pray those coming from outside please protocol direct them so that they come quickly and then if you're coming from any of the overflows please let the ushers or protocol know that you are coming to testify and then they make room for you there are many who are coming give Jesus praise while you pray 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 over yourself gentlemen you sing that song once for me again from start till yakare and then we are ready to take a few testimonies check yourself check yourself check yourself check yourself go ahead and pray in the spirit you can do what you couldn't do before make your way to the front in the name of jesus taking the testimonies how many of you are, you are ready with your prayer requests by the way how many of you believe that God answers prayers amen do you believe that right so very quickly whilst we're here please if you are yet to submit your prayer request here's what you do just pass it to anyone by the left or the right extremes of your aisle and then ushers will just come to pick it don't worry it's your request nobody's reading it this is between you and God but just to facilitate it especially for all the overflows 
those online there should be a link for you to send in your request we'll do that very fast while we're taking the testimonies and i want you to celebrate every testimony no matter how big or small they all came by the power of god are we together now so i want you to celebrate very generously as god is moving through his people and we'll make this really really very fast the more you thank god for his hand in the midst of his people this is one thing i learned from kenneth e hagen from tl osborne and most of the people who were mightily used by god especially in the area of healing right from the times when god began to do supposedly little things little healings i would celebrate every manifestation of his hand very generously and sincerely with a heart of gratitude so this is one of the ways that you scale in the operation of the healing anointing to be grateful for everything that he does ready guys okay so let's take let's take the testimonies yes sir very quickly your name right. and straight to the point i'm antonia anthony so I came here with pains from my armpit. To you came here with pains? Yeah, from my armpit. How long has that been? For two weeks now. Okay. So when you said two people will be under the anointing. Yes. I was under the anointing and when I got up. Like, Completely. Lift your hands. Down. Yeah. Lift it again. Yeah, Gone forever. Yeah, yeah. In the name of Jesus. Perfection for you. Yeah. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Give Jesus a big hand clap. Next person please. Hallelujah. Good evening sir. My name is Daniel. I came with Pastor Larry. I always found myself as public speaking because I'm a stammering person. Even when I was in school, I was a fellowship president. You were a stammerer? Sir, he was healed from stammering. Really? Yes. I, al I always found myself. Hallelujah. How long has this been? It has been a long time. Even when I was in school, I was a fellowship president. So I always found it difficult. But now, I could speak very well. Hallelujah. <laughs> My God. Most of you don't know, this was Moses' problem. Oh. Moses complained about this thing before God. Stammering. It limits you. You want to express yourself, but you are incapacitated. This is a miracle, my God. I pray for you, my friend, in the name of Jesus Christ. This is how every other thing in your life will flow seamlessly. Amen and amen. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap. Next person. Yes, sir. Good evening, Kononia. My name is Kletus. I was having growth on my throat. So I was feeling... Uh, growth? Yes, he had the growth. So okay. he had problems swallowing. Wow. So I find it difficult to swallow. But when you mention the case concerning growth, now I can swallow my spit. You can swallow yes, freely in Jesus' name. Healed and perfected by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. One more person and then we'll move to the other side. Praise the Lord. I'm by name Timson Johnson. I used to have a pen inside my mouth but immediately after how long has that been it has been for like one week yes after the prayer immediately it's gone it's gone completely it never returns to you again in the name of jesus yes go ahead apostle you gave a word of knowledge of those with eye defects now yes. she went to the hospital last year and she was diagnosed of suspected glycoma and dry eye syndrome so she couldn't see in fact, when she came, she see her that difficulty, but yes. now she can see the screen, she can see you. You can see me? Yes, sir. Clearly? Yes, sir. How long has this been? Um, the diagnosis was in November. Yes. But recently it became worse. I had to buy some supplements last week. Mm. As I came this evening, I was outside and I couldn't see the screen very well. And now? My right, but now I could see well. Then, can you count how many fingers? Yes, four. One. Three. No, no. Okay, this is making a mistake. Two, five. Give Jesus praise. Then I Amen. also had, I also had, I also had a pain in my abdomen here. I also went for scan last year. They didn't see anything, but I've been having this sharp pain, so uncom yes. uncom uncomfortable, uncomfortable. So as you were praying, I just felt this sharp pain just left me outside. Everything outside. that is not planted by God, that is how it will live your life forever. Amen. May God bless you, my dear. Never return to you again in Jesus' name. Next person, very quickly. You gave a word of knowledge of a woman feeling, having a sign of pregnancy. Now, she has had that for the past three years. But when you make mention of that, the power three of God years. came on. Yes, over three years. I've been always feeling as if I'm pregnant. Sometimes my stomach will even come up. My friend will be touching me. Are you pregnant? I'll say no. 
My but God. when you said the word, I don't know how I was feeling. Even when I was coming, I was somehow feeling. Even my Adomi was burning me, but I can't feel it anymore. Bless your hand there. I can't feel it. In Jesus' it. name, healed forever Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, please. God bless you. Next person. Apostle, this is a footballer. He was heat on the pitch, and so we had difficulty in walking oh, and dear. squatting. But where you minister, the power of God came on it, and now you can squat. Sir. Where? So I, it was on my left leg. I was trying to guide the boss, so he hit me. I felt my groin, my left ankle. Yes. That at any time. What were you not able to do? So I could not twist it. I couldn't even climb the staircase to the house. Run. Complaining. Run like a footballer. Squat. Look at this. Amen. Where do you play? So for now, I'm just playing on home base team. You really want to move forward in your profession? Yes, Is sir. Is that what you want to do? Yes, sir. Yes. There is a king maker anointing. You see, listen. Listen. King makers never become kings themselves but they enthrone and dethrone kings i pray for you my friend if you believe in the name of jesus the grace that lifts men from nothing and announces them to their generation may that grace even as touching your sports may that grace rest upon you now go and excel may god bring strategic destiny helpers that will take you out of this country and announce you to your world in jesus name god bless you let's give jesus a big hand clap next please very quickly apostle another case of a sign of pregnancy since last year a sign of pregnancy my name is jacqueline i'm from tanzania you're from tanzania yes okay so since last year september i've been having like signs of pregnancy and every time i got i'm not married but every time i go to the hospital they'll tell me like it's nothing but i feel pregnant like the i feel you know yes yes i feel like pregnant so you mentioned that uh, that case today but another thing when i came here i was okay when you told us to shout like hallelujah the seventh one like i fell and, and when they brought me here i started having a very strong headache so we have at our home a pattern of migraine a very strong migraine for years mm. and for me it will always come at the point whenever i'm fasting i'll get serious migraines until i am taken to the hospital yes. so after falling down there it started like paining me so hard but when i stood and i go back to my seat you told us that uh if just hold the place where i sit then i held my head and i told god because i didn't believe that okay can it really happen now so i was like i told god if you do it for me really now i'm going to testify I told God because I didn't believe that it right can now. happen now. But right now, as I say, I'm not feeling pain at all. Nothing. Completely. Completely. Jesus still heals now. God bless you, my dear. Perfection for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's take one more there. Our mommy here couldn't twist her hand for a very long time. Yes, go ahead. Let me do finger. It has been a pain. For the past uh, three weeks, close to a month, yes. I've not been able to bend it like this. But when you said we should keep doing whatever, when you were praying, yes. I kept doing my hand like this. I didn't feel the pain. Now I can bend it very well. I can, I can even take it back. And it's a great relief to me. In I've used so many ointments, but it's still not working. But I thank God. Perfection for you right Amen. now. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Hold on. Before we take this, listen. I want you to know that miracles are real. They really happen. You will be amazed to know how many people who are in church, who sit in the presence of real miracles, but they are still yet to be sure. Miracles are real. Not everybody is faking this thing. There are real miracles that happen by the hand of God. Are we together? My dream is that sooner or later, miracle services will no longer be for koinonia members it will be an act of evangelism that for many people who are of this fold when you come there will really be nothing to heal and nothing to pray for because you would have so mastered the keys of the kingdom what you do it will just be 
an opportunity for growth and increase while bringing many others to receive. That's how it ought to be. Are we together now? Yes, go ahead, my friend. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, you gave a profound word of knowledge yes, regarding someone that actually stuck a cutting board in his ears. Right one. It was you? Yes, sir. Okay. When you mentioned my case that the person that is using cutting boot this early January, then it started bringing blood. So, me and my friend, I say, ah, he says, sorry, I say, by God's grace, my papa will heal me. And you mentioned the person that he go to hospital feeling that something that it will affect his chest or all this thing. You say perfection is healing is coming. Yes. How do you feel now? I'm healed. I'm okay. Completely. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, the Lord brings you perfection. He brings you life, even by his spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Next person, please, very quickly. Hallelujah. I came here with a, a pile problem that happened two weeks ago. I complained this to my friend. And my friend says to me that, how long have been? Just came to me for a three days. For a three days that it just came at once and I started feeling the pain. When I go to the restroom, I cannot, I cannot, uh, uh, excrete very well. Then I would, it's not the one that used to come out, but it's uh, that one that it pains me. It pains me. Yes. But and what happened to you I now? I kept on praying. When I came. So, sir, he actually came with the pain after you prayed. He went to check himself and he's And you're fine he completely. Fine. Both of you? My, yes. My own is fine. So as I go inside the bedroom, I check everything was gone. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's listen to Mama's testimony. Someone help her. Have you checked her? Let's hear her. Okay. 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 Um, Daddy, Mama said that she could not see properly with her two eyes and that she always needed aid to move around. When you prayed about the right eye, the left eye opened. So she walked by herself without aid from the back to the front. So she said she was going to give the testimony, although you said the right eye, the left eye opened. That she was able to come here yes, by, by herself, herself unaided. God. Who came with her? She came alone? I, I came with my daughter. She aided me to church. To church? Uh, no, that's fine. That's all right for sake of time. Okay, so what happened to her now, Mama? What has happened to you? Very quickly, my God. The, uh, the left one has opened. Two of them was involved. They Two were of involved. them were blind before. Yes. One is open now. Uh, open a letter that made me to walk from here. No, don't worry, Mama. Listen. To here. Sir? That's your mom, That's my dear? Yes, sir. Is yes, that sir. true? Yes, sir. How has it been for her before now? Very quickly. She even had a surgery last year yes but since then she has not been seen well even yes. when we came i was holding her but after the prayers she was able to walk from that place to this place my god in the name of jesus christ please help me place your hand on her eyes i declare perfection that god who began this you see how powerful this thing is you see that one miracle has begun in her life it's not been perfected yet but when you give God thanks for something that has started, are you seeing that now? Yes, this is called the walking of miracles. In Jesus' name, Mama, we pray that God will perfect you completely. The God that opened the left eye, may he open the right eye and perfect you completely. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. We have, okay. Apostle, when we did vaccination, she tested hepatitis B. Positive, but okay. as you were ministering, then she went back to the medical stand, and this is the doctor. They conducted the test twice, and she's negative. Negative for hepatitis. I'm negative. You are praying for for swelling around the tooth. Then a sharp pain came out from my back. I bent and shouted. Then I checked the swell. It was not there. It's gone. Then I now run to the medical stand. Mm. That's when they checked this hepatitis B twice and it was gone. Completely. Yes. Let me hear from the doctor. Good evening, daddy. So she came to the stand that she wants to run hepatitis test. So I did the first one. It was negative. So I wasn't sure. I had to call my colleague. I come and check what I see. He told me the result. So to confirm again, I had to do the test a second time. And to God be the glory, it came out negative as Amen. well. Amen. In the name of Jesus, perfected by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
Okay, God bless you. Yes, please. You mentioned a case of pain in the ear as a result of cutting board. She has the challenge, and when you ministered, the pain is gone. Gone she forever. Can hear clearly now. Yes, right. When you mentioned the case of um, cutting board in the right ear, it happened to me last year, and since then, I when it happened, I poured oil and then I t- tried to turn my head the other side to think to see if it would come out. It didn't come out, and since then, anytime I blink, I feel the movements, but I've not known how to how to bring it out. When you mentioned it. The, the 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 movement it kind of it was up and down it is but when you you when, used to feel it yes, that there's something inside your ear yes every time I blink my eye when you mentioned it I was still thinking contemplation should I come out yes. or not because it was still moving but then I remembered what you said that once you mentioned our case we should just come out with faith and since I've been, been on the queue I've not felt anything again in Jesus name you will never never feel that demonic thing again. It dematerializes and leaves you forever in Jesus' name. Let's take a few with Pastor Jakes. Yes, sir. Good evening, Koenonia. My name is Banu Adam Rema. Uh, I came here with neck pain. But neck pain? Moment, yes, exactly. Okay. And now? Uh, and now I'm not feeling Move it left and right. Any pain? Completely gone. You are perfected forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Very quickly, next person. I was having pain this afternoon when I came to church. Even while I, while I was dancing, I tried to even this this bottom here. I was having the pain, so I even danced. I was dancing; the pain was still there, but I keep dancing. After the prayer, the pain has gone. Gone completely. Yes, sir. Same thing happened. I had pains all over my abdominal region. I, I was fatigued, tired. I was just trying to cope, but when Daddy mentioned people with pains, I took it upon myself to That's say right. Amen. I shake my body and I feel And it's better gone now. forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare perfection for you both. Supernatural perfection. That pain dies, it leaves your body forever. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Very quickly. All right, sir. Uh, let's Similar see if we can case. take two or three more. Praise mm. God. Praise God. Okay, I came from Benin because I was having a lot of health challenges, especially with my feet. A strong feet. anointing is going to come on two people. One of them will start running. Please hold the person right now. Very strong anointing is going to come on one person. And that, that is a very dramatic empowerment. It's a very unique grace that will speak in the person's place of work. This is what I'm saying. One of them will start running. Hold the person so they don't injure themselves. Hold that lady. She's an usher. She's an usher herself. That lady is an usher. So let her receive before she gets back to do her work. She's an usher. You see that ushers too can receive. Just because you are walking, the Holy Spirit does not care. If your heart is open, you can receive. She's an usher. Please help her. Once she receives her own, she can go back and do her work. What a good way to serve. That you are serving and you are receiving yourself. Hallelujah. There is still one more person. Please don't, don't mind me. Let me do my thing. I know when God is done. There is still one more person. In the congregation. Not balcony, not around. One person in the congregation. So God does these things because he's responding to the hunger of people. You see. It is God who knows the troubles, the things that plague God's people. The answer to our problem is always the anointing. Coming through the word, coming through prophetic ministrations. There's one more person. And then we get back to finalizing the testimony. Mm. Mighty God. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Help me. You are in this place and you are a businessman. The door of business has been closed since November last year. Nothing has happened to move you forward. 
I'm seeing a door open in the spirit. This is for business people. This is a major reason why you came. I set before you, I'm quoting revelations for you. The Lord is setting before you a very strange open door that from tonight, no power will be able to shut that door. I'm saying it to you, April is your month. Back to back, testimonies upon testimonies. April is your month, back to back. Testimonies upon testimonies. I prophesy this to you if you believe it. Receive it and let it find expression in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. People who never heard about your business. There are angels that will noise your product. Noise your services abroad. And you will receive mysterious calls. Calls that will lead to your rising. Calls that will restore you financially. In the name of Jesus, please be seated. Yes, go ahead. Praise God. So I came from Benin yesterday uh -huh. because I'm having a lot of health challenges. Health challenges. Especially with my feet. My feet, I can't stand for more than three minutes and I can't sleep at night. So I came to church by eight today because I really wanted a change. While you were ministering, I was not able to stand. I was sitting down on my seat. And then you said we should receive strength to do what we could not do before. My leg that was paining me because of diabetes. You had diabetes? My God, look at this. The leg is not paining me again and I can stand. Which of them, my dear? Both of them. Go ahead and walk. Diabetes. Both of them. She came here from Benin. From Benin. He does these things that men will fear him. He does these things that men will praise him. You see, you never know the price of a real miracle until you need one. The day the doctors tell you we've done our best and there's nothing else we can do. The day all the helpers, the Bible says that woman with the issue of blood, she was not careless. She spent all her earnings, not some, not part, all her earnings on physicians. And the Bible says she did not feel better in any way. When you exhaust your options and medical science, as limited as it is, is not able to help you. That's when you will know the value of a miracle. Sometimes you see people looking very healthy, but then they are plagued with cancer, plagued with whatever. Some of you may not immediately be able to check yourself because of the peculiarity of your situations. Don't share the grace and just go back home and forget. Go to the hospital. If our medical team is not able to check you, which I doubt, Make sure that you go and check yourself and confirm your miracle. My dear, in the name of Jesus, the Lord brings you perfection. And everything you've lost or wasted as a result of this, let it be restored to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Let's have three more here and three more there. Then we speak over the rest for sake of time. Go ahead. So, sir, maybe we, yes, we sir. have just similar Yes, testimony. if, if there are similar cases, you can just combine them They've together. They've healed. So, he had a spirit leave him. He had a spirit leave you, yes. sir? Yes, sir. Then, okay. Then you, what did you feel? I came here with a terrible headache. Headache? Noise. Noise. In the, in the head. Uh-huh. So, the moment you began to pray against yes. evil altars, I literally felt... That just left you. Felt when the spirit left. Yes. And the headache is Wave them goodbye, they go for good, Amen. they are not needed, Amen. they should go somewhere else. But as far as your destiny is concerned, you are free and free forever Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Yes, please. So, sir, we have a few testimonies online, though. Um, so, okay. all these ones, they've been healed. Knee. Knee she pain. She had a problem with her knee and she yes. got healed. Yeah, Daddy, my, my name my name is uh, Darling Tineke Chuku. I'm having, I'm a footballer. I'm having a serious Footballer pain. again. Yes, Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus for this miracle. And we pray not only will God heal you like he's done, but may he lift you and may you be exalted in your career in the name of Jesus. I understand there are many, many miracles. Now, listen, because we're limited, there's only so much a miracle service. Those days... Uh, when the fathers held miracle services, it stretched for hours and even days. And so we try to manage within the time that we have. Um, so my apologies if you do come out and we're not able to do justice to your testimony. Remember, you can always submit it. And for those of you who connect online, everybody here and the entire Koinonia Global Family, I presume that you should be connected to all our platforms. If you are not right away, 
after service you can connect connect on youtube connect on facebook instagram and do let others know do let others know that this is what god is doing so that they can connect receive updates faith building updates one thing you can be sure of is that on all our social pl media platforms there is nothing there that is non-edifying to your spiritual life our media team have been trained anything you find on a social media platform if you find nonsense on any platform it does not belong to us it may just be scammers or people writing nonsense but anything you find on any koinonia global platform whether here or any other expressions azaria platform us canada uk or any other expression we have a creed we have a rule the only things that are posted are the things that will help you to be transformed to know jesus and to inspire you through a great life okay so please do well to take advantage of all our social media platforms very quickly yes sir okay sir we just have one last one maybe if you're online before yes okay Sorry, sir. so quickly just okay my name is swatchet um while i was down when you prayed about back pain immediately i felt relief but i was still reluctant to come up my husband yes. said just go and testify so I, I came and actually the back pain is no more there and yes I'm free. Bend and see. Check. Any pain? Gone forever. Yes, sir. God bless you. It never returns to you again. So Kenny let's have one or two online. Apostle, Apostle this is from Peace. My daughter's case was mentioned. It's called an enlarged adenoid which causes her to snore at night once she is sleeping. My baby of nine months has been fighting with this since she was four months and has been on antibiotics every month. Doctors even said she may be operated upon when she gets to one year old. But today, God has healed her completely. Amen. At the mention of that case, I have checked her and she is sleeping right now but not snoring anymore. Come on, give Jesus Hallelujah. Praise. Apostle, this is a second one yes. from Goma. Apostle Joshua Selman mentioned a pain which he said comes when I sit and he thought it was pile but I knew it was an injured coccyx well that causes me pain when I sit in August 2020 I missed the top step in our staircase at home and I fell down on my bottom and since that time my coccyx causes me pain when I sit in any chair at work in the car or in the train or a bus I have been bouncing on our couch, couch, and the pain is totally gone. Completely gone. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate Jesus. Jesus is alive. The last one here, Apostle, is yes. from Bright. I used to have this hooking pain on my chest. Sometimes it comes from both sides and sometimes from the right side mm. of my chest. I've gone for tests and scan and they said nothing is wrong. But I kept getting the pain for over a year now. And just after the prayer, I received my healing. Now I can breathe in deeply without feeling pain. Amen. Praise God. Let's give Jesus praise. Can we have one, two last ones? Yes, please. Go ahead. Pain in the ankle, pain at the nail, and pain at the back. That sometimes it cannot stand for long. It even falls. And it's gone now. Pain is gone Perfected completely. forever. He Perfect. fell in the pool, and then he had difficulty in lifting up his leg. But now, now you are able to lift it. Let's give Jesus praise. Completely healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Please. Low blood pressure healed. Low blood pressure. Yes, Perfected sir. forever. Never returns to you in the name of Jesus. Pain in the teeth. I'm set. Papa, I've been having severe back pain at my lower spine. Yes. If I bend down for a very long time, I will experience very severe pain. I will not be able to do anything. But right now, it's gone. Completely. Amen. Now, for all of you who are left, my sincere apologies again. You can always come by next week or during the week. Register your testimonies and our media team will do justice to let the world know what God has done as you allow. I declare perfection for all of you in the name of Jesus. Whether you were able to make it out um, here to testify or otherwise, in the name of Jesus, we declare perfection by the power of the Holy Spirit. Rise up on your feet, please stretch your hands towards your request. I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth, and I found that truly I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth, and I found that. Hallelujah. 
Why do we pray? Because God answers prayers. Why do we pray? Because he's asked us to use prayer as a platform to make petitions and to obtain requests. Why do we pray? Because it's a platform that allows for intercession. Meaning that you can reach someone who is not here kilometers, nations, continents apart. Like the centurion advocated for his son. Like Jarius' the daughter. Jarius' daughter. You see that now. Make sure you understand why we pray. It's not a ritual. If you reduce it to a ritual, it has no power to deliver again. Believing that, let me request that you stretch your hands. Online, on site, outside, all the overflows. I will bow my knees to God as a sign of uh, um, humility and in a posture of intercession. And in one minute, I'd like you to speak to the Lord before I make declarations. Father, visit me. Go ahead, participate in your miracle. I like prayer requests because they are the most accurate representations of your faith. When we prophesy, we see in part and we're limited um, by time. When we minister to people, there's only so much we can minister, we can do. But when people submit their requests, um, you've taken your time to write these things. And the Bible says, what things soever ye desire. It says, when ye pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Go ahead and pray. So I'll bow my knees and lay my hands as a prophetic contact. Please don't be silent. Make declarations. I will return with a testimony. The Lord is turning my sorrow to dancing, my mourning uh, to joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Shame and reproach on account of this miracle service and this prophetic contact is living my life. That includes those who are following online. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shapratus Kaligra Pandaka Shada Braga de Belegeta Shadem Brese Barasuka Sada Braske Lakas. Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, I release faith over these requests. Representations of the pain, the burdens, the worries of your people. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Are you releasing your faith with me? Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Miracles of fruitfulness. Miracles of advancement. Miracles of restoration. Miracles of strength. Job opportunities. Marital open doors. Celebration of children. Twins and triplets and quadruplets. Opportunities to relocate abroad as your destiny requires. Restoration of marriages. Restoration of sick people. Some of you have lost money, you have lost opportunities. We command restoration. Strategic relationships that you have lost. May God restore. Koinonia shout amen. May God restore. What happened to Esther that lifted her? May it happen to you. Ah, someone who has faith to believe. What happened to Esther that took her from Shushan to the palace? May it happen to you. What happened to Ruth? May it happen to you. What happened to Abraham that caused Abimelech to give him riches and all kinds of resources? May it happen to you. What happened to Gideon that empowered him to lead an army? May it happen to you. What happened to Lot on account of his connection with Abraham? May it happen to you. Anyone here appointed unto death that according to the plan of hell that this is your last miracle service that by the next one you would have been buried I cancel that statement we cancel that statement cancel that statement for you and your spouse canceled for you and your children canceled for you and your parents canceled anyone here trusting God for a job I bow my knees to the God of our father 
and I pray for you in the name of Jesus by next miracle service return with your employment letter and hear me believe in prophecy anyone who has a job that is fighting your relationship with God not allowing you go to church not allowing you serve God that the only way to remain in that job is to compromise may God relocate you to another job in the name of Jesus there is a grace for influence and visibility that grace can pick you from your room and can cause the nations to know you. We are privileged stewards of that grace. And in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I place that anointing on your life. <laughs> Believe it, I place that anointing on your destiny. Strangers will look for you. From across the nations of the earth, may they find you. They will not rest till they find you and bless you and announce you and honor you in the name of Jesus. Anyone who has called you the black sheep of any family, anyone who has called you the reason for shame and reproach, may my God, by his hand upon your life, may he vindicate you this season. Koinonia, anyone called barren, prepare for your children coming. I say it again, anyone called barren, this is the year you carry your children. Hmm. I feel led to pray for people who are trusting God for structural establishment. A house, a car, if you don't believe it, allow those who believe it to receive. But in the name of Jesus, for anyone trusting God for structural establishment in 30 days from now, in the name that is above all names, and I say this prophetically, may my God surprise you. Beyond your savings, beyond your current resources, may my God surprise you. Houses you did not build, vehicles you don't have the money to pay for let favor bring it to your doorstep <laughs> hallelujah hear me you have any gift upon your life that can announce you to the nations but who to connect with may be what is missing i pray for you right now that gift stops being silent from today gift stops being silent from today those who need your gift may they find you those who need your gift may they find you those who can reward you for your gift may they find you in the name of Jesus therefore I declare over these requests by the power of the Holy Spirit the next request you'll be writing will be for others, not for yourself again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. The hands that are lifted, no power will bring them down. Your hand represents your productivity. I say it again. The hands that are lifted, not by witchcraft, not the wickedness of men, not the antagonisms of negative people. No power will bring your hand down. No power will silence your voice. Surely they will gather, but they will not sustain the ability to diminish your influence. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, let me pray for you. And I want you to receive this. Whatever makes you use your money to service sickness, use your money to service police cases, court cases, you never have the opportunity to enjoy the blessings of God upon your life. That God has been faithful, but your money is always used to resolve tragedy. From today, may tragedy be too late for your life. Did you hear what I said? May tragedy be too late for your life. Too late for your life, too late for your business, too late for your ministry, too late for your family. In the name of Jesus, shout a sevenfold amen. Two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. Give Jesus a hand clap of praise and a shout of victory. Hallelujah. Because you have believed it, prepare to come and stand here testifying. Because you have believed it, prepare to stand here to testify. In Jesus' name I pray. Keep standing everyone. You need Jesus. You need him now. You need him more than anything else in your life. We shouldn't end tonight's service without giving you an opportunity to come to Jesus. When I began my teaching, preaching about salvation and the gospel, everything I said struck a chord in your spirit. You are saying, Apostle, I want to rededicate my life to Jesus. Can I join them? I'm not ashamed to declare that I need Jesus. For others, you are saying, I'm coming for the first time. I'm at the back, far back. Can I come? You are welcome. I'm outside. Can I come? You are welcome. I'm counting one to five. For those who seriously need Jesus, not playing games with their Christian experience, that you are saying today, if the trumpet should sound, I want to be among those who will gloriously exit in joy and with victory. Leave your seat and come. God bless you. I'm counting one to five. Young and old, male or female, there is always room at the cross. Come. Come. Very quickly. Two. I count five and then I begin my prayer. Take your bags, your Bibles, everything you came to church with. Please be on your way to the altar. Come. Three. Koinonia, let's encourage them as they come. Four. Apostle, I want to come, but my family members are with me, around me. I'm ashamed to come, not with the matters of your destiny, your eternal destiny. Leave them and come. Leave them and come. You came with friends, you came with family, but make your way to Jesus. It's a personal affair. You need to be born again. You have to be born again. In the name of Jesus. You're unable to come right here. You can move to your LED screens any of the overflows outside for those connecting online or any viewing center across the nations of the earth do well to just move to the front i'm sure that there are people there who can help you and lead you to jesus else please pray this prayer with me thank you for all of you who are here place one hand on your chest and lift the other as a sign of surrender please say this as loud and as clear as you can say lord jesus one more time say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word I have seen your power. I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive Jesus into my heart as my savior, as my Lord, and as my king. I declare that the power of sin Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life forever. From today, I am a child of God, washed by the blood of the Lamb. I go forward ever and backwards never. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, thank you. We honor you, Father, for these ones who have come declaring your lordship over their lives. And based on the integrity and the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. The grace to walk perpetually in victory. Let it be released upon you. I commend you to the ministry of the word. I commend you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. May you be grounded and established in righteousness. You go forward from hence and never backwards. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap. Thank you for watching. Like our videos, share and subscribe. Thank you.